Hey, welcome to another video here on my channel. My name is Rob Balasabas. Today I'm going to show you how to use StreamYard Teams. All right, so I respect your time. And so let's jump right into my screen right now. All right, here we go. So first of all, this is StreamYard. If StreamYard is new to you or you're new to StreamYard, uh, it's my favorite tool. It's my go-to tool for any sort of live streaming. Uh, it's fantastic. It's browser-based, so you can use it either on Mac or PC. Uh, I tend to use it on the Chrome browser, which is uh, super easy <laughs> and everybody has Chrome. And so uh, StreamYard is awesome. If you have not yet, make sure you set up your StreamYard account and uh, you can find the link in the description to get a 14 day free trial, all right? So now StreamYard Teams, this is a fantastic feature that they just launched and uh, so that it makes it really easy for you to uh, set up admins and also co-hosts on your account, all right? So really quickly, this is a link to the actual article inside of the StreamYard website. And so this is what uh, admins can do. Now admins can manage the team by inviting members and assigning roles in addition to hosting the stream, all right? Admins though do not have access to billing and cannot, cannot create or delete the team, all right? So very important to understand because if you're gonna add team members or maybe a remote producer that you're hiring that you know it's going to be helping you run your live streams it's good to know the difference between an admin and a co-host all right now on the other note there are also there's also a co-host role all right so co-host is right here now co-host can help you produce your show so if you're hiring somebody remotely to produce your show to run the overlays and to run all of the things behind the scenes while you are hosting and you're on camera this is likely the role that you want to give them they cannot create or upload anything in the studio all right so everything that they're going to use already has to be uploaded either by yourself as the owner or the admin okay now they can only add graphics and banners guests into your show all right so once those graphics and banners are already in the studio then they can use it in the live show all right so if you scroll down here you can see this nice little graphic chart here um, and it goes over all of the different uh, roles the three roles here uh, owner admin and co-host and with what they can do what they cannot do all right so admins don't have uh, billing or delete your team access and then co-host also do not have a bunch of other things here as well, all right? So just to be helpful, be, be super easy for you, this is a really helpful graphic and I will link to this uh, page uh, article inside of the StreamYard website for quick reference, all right? Of course, also, if you have any questions around this, uh, make sure that you drop a comment down below. Uh, we create a ton of StreamYard tutorials here, and so I'd love to know what specific questions you have about StreamYard Teams, and I can make a future video around that, all right? So now back to my screen. Let me show you how to actually set up uh, StreamYard uh, team members, all right? So once you log into your StreamYard account, this is where you'll be taken to, actually my fault, you'll actually be taken to the broadcast page, all right? Uh, fun fact, I have no idea why Daniel Kazmala's name is in my account. <laughs> Daniel is uh, my coworker at Uscreen and he manages our YouTube channel over there at Uscreen. I have no idea why uh, his name is there, but I swear this is my account. Where you wanna go to set up StreamYard Teams is members right here, the bottom or the top left. All right, so let's click into members. Let's not click that. All right, let's <laughs> not click that. Little uh, technical difficulty here, a bit of a glitch. All right, let me refresh. Okay, we're back. Uh, you got a little shout out there of uh, that fun tool, Tube Spanner. So if you guys are familiar, let me know as well. But let's go to members, all right? I'm not gonna edit that out. That's just the beauty of one record, uh, one shot recording here. And so we're gonna go into members and we're gonna click on this blue button that says invite members, all right? Top right, invite members really easy I don't know why it keeps doing that all right let's go back here invite members and we're gonna come to this page here there's a little pop-up that says email address so you're gonna put the email address of the person that you're inviting let's pretend it's, I'm gonna invite myself 
Um, and then you're going to choose what the role is. So whether it's going to be an admin or a co-host. There's no role here for owner. There's only one owner for every StreamYard account and that's going to be you. And so for your account, if you want to change it to a different owner or if you're going to switch owners for some reason, you can do that in your profile settings. Um, if you want to add a second owner, I don't see a way to do that here. You may have to contact StreamYard support to set up a second owner. Okay, so that's all you need to do. Once you've done that, let's say you want to add an admin and you would click on send invite. That person that you uh, want to add will get an email inviting them and then they're going to click that uh, link in the email that they get from StreamYard and then they'll get admin or co-host access um, on their end. All right, so there you have it. That is how you set up StreamYard Teams. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you've gotten this far in the video, hopefully you got some value out of it. Hopefully it's taught you something new about StreamYard. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel so that you can get all of the different tutorials and other things that we share um, on this channel. And thanks again for hanging out with me here and I will see you in the next video. Take care.